Hey guys, today uh, on this video, we're going to take an animation that we had just done of a bouncing ball. Let me hit play. Um, and we're gonna color the ball using the fill tool. And then we're going to create a background using another layer and the um, solid fill um, material. And then we're going to render it as a QuickTime movie. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let me hit pause here. We have an animation where we drew a simple little ball. We moved it frame by frame and we had it uh, bounce up and down. Uh, in fact, here is the sketch layer where I'm going to turn on my sketch. And then you can see that this kind of follows along that path. Uh, I'll turn off the sketch. Go to frame one and then let's get ready to uh, add some color to this ball using the uh, uh, the bucket or the fill tool. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna select the fills um, layer so that we can fill this uh, and add some color to it. This is my bucket fill area or fill area tool. And then I'm going to go to solid fill and then I'm going to turn on uh, this little button that says this is the vertex color um, vertex color paint mode and then I'm going to select a color here uh, maybe just this red and and with the bucket or the fill tool selected I'm just going to click inside uh, the ball and it should fill it uh, and I'm going to go quickly on this because that's all there is to it it's repeated uh, you can kind of see the onion skinning, the before frame, the after frame. Uh, and all I'm doing is clicking inside the ball so that it fills it with this color. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. If I if I happen to miss it and I click on the on the outside, it's gonna fill everything. So command Z that. Click on the inside. And I'm clicking on my right arrow to go to the next frame. Right arrow, click, right arrow, and then there's nothing else. So that was cool. That was easy. Now let's create. Uh, let's hit the let's hit the uh, play button. See what it looks like. And there we have a little red bouncing ball. So now, guys, what I'd like to do is uh, create a sketch layer for the background. I'm gonna click on the new uh, layer icon double click on it and rename it to background BG sketch and then I'm, I want to bring it uh, down underneath the fills uh, but I'm gonna leave my old sketch layer uh, right there so I now I can sketch I'm gonna grab my um, my pencil tool and then I want to um, grab a pencil tool here. And then instead of the solid fill, I want to get the red stroke. Uh, I'd like to, I like, I myself like to draw uh, in red. But now you're seeing that it's not red, it's green because we have a green. Undo that. I'm going to go back to this mode. Click off the, the vertex color, and then I can now paint in red. So I'm in the background sketch, and what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm just going to maybe sketch out maybe uh, some hills, one hill right there. Maybe I'll do another hill in the background. Maybe I'll do some mountains. that way in the background maybe let's modify that one like this um, do some clouds oh that's one maybe another one um, just two clouds uh, and we'll keep it like that. We'll keep it very simple. Maybe we'll add some snow on these mountains. 
and we'll keep it very simple like that. Uh, and we'll do grass here in the foreground. But that's our background. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide the uh, I'm gonna hide the fill layer and get ready to create this background. So uh, here's my background sketch. I'm gonna create a new layer by clicking on the plus sign, and uh, this layer I'm gonna call it background. Return. And I'm going to put this sketch background sketch layer on top of that background. Now, when, when we're drawing backgrounds, guys, we need to keep the, um, the furthest back, meaning the sky, what's furthest back, we need to draw those first. So, again, I'm going to keep my pencil tool, but I'm going to go to my solid fill. Uh, and I'll tell you what that does. It'll just create a solid undo. Uh, but it's it's um, gray. Uh, we need to turn back on vertex color, and now it should be the color. Undo Command Z, and I'm gonna pick a a blue, a light blue for the sky. So I'm gonna draw the sky, and I'm just going to go right outside my frame. And I don't have to go all the way down because I know that um, I know that the mountains is covering it up. Um, so, oh, my mistake, my mistake. I drew it on the background sketch. So I'm gonna undo that, go to my background, and then re redraw it. Again, I'm just gonna um, keep right outside the. Uh, right outside the um, the canvas uh, right outside the frame and just draw the sky and now I am on my background my sketch is on top my background in fact you can um, sort of lock that sketch layer so that doesn't happen to you again so the the, the thing that's closer other than than the sky is the clouds so the clouds I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw uh, white and I'm gonna start drawing the clouds there's one cloud and there's the other cloud two clouds that's it uh, the furthest thing, the furthest thing backward is the mountains. So I'm going to select maybe a bluish green, something like that, but it's got to be lighter. Uh, remember that the farther back it goes, it will be bluer so th those are the mountains uh, i'm going to turn off just momentarily this background sketch and and i want to do even the lines i'm going to turn those lines off because I, I want to do the the snow on top of these mountains and so what i'd like to do is pick a uh, a white again we're going to do snow There's one, there's two, this one's a little tricky, and there's three. So th that's the snow on top of my mountains. And you can always add detail. I'm just wanting to do this quickly um, so that uh, it's easier It's easier for you guys. But uh, by all means, if, if you can add you can add shadows to these mountains. Um, you can add shadows to these mountains on this side. Uh, and do some more, some more um, crevices on the mountains. You can add some detail. Uh, but let's stick to the sketch. 
now let's do these uh let's do these um hills i'm gonna grab a blue green and do this hill and then grab a different green maybe this one a little darker and then and then get a very bright dark green for the grass I'm gonna try to stick close to that line as possible uh, don't worry about going too over uh, on the outside it's only going to render to the frame that's why I just said go outside I'm gonna turn off my background sketch layer and there's our background it's very simple I'm gonna turn on my fills uh, and I'm gonna turn off the onion skinning this is the onion skinning uh, this is the view and this is the lock uh, on the, each of the layers uh, hit hit the uh, play button and there it is we have a we have a uh, wait a minute wait a minute I'm going to go to edit mode select this one and delete it I, it didn't uh, register that other green so I'm gonna just redraw go go to draw mode I just need to redraw this in a different green in fact I'll use this one darker green Let's say using the same. No, there it is. And hit play. And there it is. That's the little bouncing ball. Uh, and you can animate these clouds if you'd want it to. You can animate a, anything. I mean, this is just a basic animation. Uh, and uh, in the next video, guys, we'll render this out as a QuickTime movie.